Example number two, find the solu general solution to the differential equation. Highlighting the word general because we are not given an initial condition, which means we're not going to be able to solve for C. We're going to separate the equation so all the x's are with the dx and all the y's are with dy. What I did here was I multiplied both sides by dx, and of course on the left side it cancels, but on the right side I have my dx. And I divide both sides by y, and that's how I get my 1 over y on the left side, and of course it cancels on the right side. Integrate both sides leaves us with the natural log of the absolute value of y is equal, equal to the natural log of the absolute value of x squared plus 1, and then I have my arbitrary constant c. I only need to add that to one side. Solve the equation for y. Since all the values of x will be positive, we can remove the absolute value. So I use the natural log of y as an exponent to, of e, and e to the natural log of y is y. And on this side, I have e to the natural log of x squared plus 1 plus c. Using my rules of exponents, leaves me with e to the c power times x squared plus 1. Remember, adding exponents occurs when you multiply terms with like bases. Now, e is a constant term, so is e to the c. So I replace e to the c with just c as it represents some constant value. Therefore, my final general solution is y is equal to c times x squared plus 1. Example number 3. Find the particular solution to the differential equation at the point 0, 1. And the differential equation we are considering is dy dx is equal to negative x times e to the negative x squared power all over y. So we separate the equation, so all the x's are with the dx, and all the y's are with the dy. So I cross multiply both sides by dx, and I also multiply both sides by y, and that's how I obtain the integral of y dy is equal to the integral of negative x times neg uh, e to the negative x squared times dx. When I do integrate both sides, I get y squared over 2 is equal to 1 half e to the negative x squared plus c. I use the initial condition 0, 1 to find c and then substitute it into the equation. So when uh, y is 1, so I put y is 1 right here, okay, so there's my 1, and then x is 0, okay, so x is 0. But e to the 0 power is 1, and 1 times 1 half is 1 half. So I have 1 half is equal to 1 half plus c, therefore c is equal to 0. So going back to my original equation, I have y squared over 2 is equal to 1 half e to the negative x squared power, and my plus c is 0, so I'm just left with this. Now, I solve for the equation, I solve the equation for y due to the initial values given. I only need to take the positive root, square root, so I have y is equal to plus or minus the square root of e to the negative x squared power. But I'm only considering the positive root, so I can write it in radical form uh, or exponential form. Both are acceptable.